Our deaths in sort of fallout. Let's begin. Underneath his house that he had built a few years ago, his wife and daughter working. Oh, Two poor Trevor the tractor. Last got in bed. Jem had his rifle on him and put the traction engine out of his misery. Edward broke down in tears when I told him the news. You know what's scary? That Kane Master logo. That's terrifying. Oh. Yo, they ain't got a show on that, bro. We lured the ironworks engines in and got them ready for the test. They were horrified. Oh. One of them tried running into it and the other reversed. One trying to escape derailed and was torn in half. The oil was dripping everywhere. The beast attacked. The fire. The engine went after the second one and compressed the front half. Killing it instantly. Wait, was that diesel? Test was successful. Scrap will be sold later. 1411-7. Diesel 10 was prepped for combat test. This will be our final combat test before mission is operational. Diesel was brought in and combat commenced. D10 held up decent fight, calling it multiple names. Creature, beast, monster. But the engine got the upper hand. That's not nice. Engine ripped off the hydraulic claw on the roof and tore off a buffer. Diesel 10 was powerless and begged for mercy, apologizing to steam engines in general. Engine took the thin end of the claw and jammed it into the middle of D10's face. Damn. Right in the we kisser. decided to call it the beast. <laughs> that was wicked, man. Oh, the duck. What the duck doing? Oh, no. He's literally a sitting duck. Dude, this, that face is like haunting, man. I like the the sound effects. Like, <laughs> Dang, you can even hear the bones crunching and everything, bro. Like he's eating a chicken wing. He devoured him as a chicken wing. Oh, I remember this. It's been a while, man. Terry? Is that what you wanted, the beast, huh? Is that what you wanted? Damn. Where you going, Gordon? Dude, his jaw's like, his face is all busted. Got blood gushing out his mouth. Oh no, the beast is back for more. Man, just slaughtering everybody left and right. They should make a like a little movie just based off of the beast. Damn, bro. Oh, 
Oh no, James! Seems like he's been contaminated by the radiation blasts. Man, he all busted, bro. I kind of miss watching this. It's been a while since I've seen this. Oh, put him out of his misery. So he will no longer suffer. I'm a pajamas, man. I'm going to be kind of sad. Henrietta for him, and then it happened. Topham knew what was going to happen and sprinted towards the tram engine that had taken him out on his holiday trip all those years ago, but it was too late. Topham, Sidney, Leonard, and I watched in horror as the tram engine rolled back and dashed down Toby. the line as fast as he could. Toby, oh, this is the demise of Toby, right? Crane. I remember when I first seen this, I was like, damn! Oh my god, bro. It struck straight into the middle of his face, and the sound of splintered wood and flesh was heard as yeah, it's the probably one of the apart. The old struck fire fish and the hook snagged his face deaths. and killed it on impact. And sort of was one of the most gruesome scenes I've ever, ever witnessed. Topham fell to his knees and broke down crying in front of the collapse shell of his beloved number seven. Oh wait, that was it? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Hey, all right. Well, there we have it. All the deaths and sort of fallout. And of course, the uh, shout out to uh, Percy and the Beast Productions for bringing this awesome sort of fallout storyline to real life and Springman, I guess, for this little cutscene, which Springman would make his own uh, little versions of sort of fallout. And I kind of miss reacting to these videos because I don't know, they're just so emotional. They're packed like the Austin, the storyline is just amazing overall, man. I wish they would bring it back in some type of way or someone would like make a different spinoff series sort of related to this, but just not too related so they won't get hated on. All right, you guys, well, thank y'all for watching. Shout out to uh, Percy and the Beast Productions one more time for the awesome Soda Fallout creation. Um, uh, shout out to Sam Studios for putting the clips together for us to react to. I'll leave the link to the video uh, down below. I'll link up uh, Percy and the Beast Productions, uh, Sam Studios, and Springman for uh, bringing their awesome work. And uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. And I will see you guys in the next 